Hello everyone. In this video, we will create our first project of RPA. If you haven't checked out the basics of RPA, how can we install RPA on our system? Please check out the videos in the description or please click on the top right corner to check out that playlist. So as you can see from the image, we will be converting an Excel file into a PDF. So basically the project would be to create an attended robot. It should add a new record to an existing Excel file and then finally convert Excel file into a PDF file. I have already created an Excel file with some data in it. Let me quickly show you that. So there is a folder called RP underscore demo and I have created a file called demo.xlsx. If I open this now, we would see there are three rows created and there is a header row. So what we will be doing is we will be adding a new record here and then converting this Excel file into a PDF file which should be stored here in this folder as well. I will go to my RPA desktop design studio and it will take a while to open this and then we will have to create a new project. Once this screen is open, go to create new automation project and click on attended automation. If you don't know the difference between unattended and attended, I have explained it in the previous videos. Please go and check that out. Now I'll click here and I will name this Excel into PDF and I will click on OK. I will maximize this and remove the activities which were added by default because we don't need these as of now. After deleting these, we are left with only start and end. So now first we have to open this Excel file. For that I will go to toolbox, click here and then I will search for Excel. And here you can see the connector for Microsoft Excel. I will have to drag and drop this into global objects first. And as soon as it is added here, you would see Microsoft Excel under global objects. Now to use the functionalities of this connector, I will have to double click this and you would see on left hand side object explorer was automatically selected and all the methods which are related to Microsoft Excel show up here. I will search for the one which we have to use which is open and you can see open an existing file also used to create and open a new excel file so I'll just drag and drop this I have to give the file path name here I will just copy this file path and paste it here and then the file name And there are other parameters as well. If you want to create new file, display alerts is visible, read only mode, password and return. We will be exploring these one by one in next videos as well. But as of now, we will just be opening this file and I will join this gray dot to this gray dot. And then I will write a new record in this Excel file. For that, I will use set row values and I will drag and drop it here. And then it will ask me the sheet name. And the default sheet name in the Excel file was sheet one. So I will just give it static value as sheet one and click OK. And it asks for the row number. Our row number should be row number 5. So I will put 5 here. And now to add the records, if you hover up here, there is a settings button which comes up. You have to click on that settings button and then add columns here. For example, on row number A, we are having a number. I will just select number from this list or integer. 
and then I will add again on column B I should be adding a string on column 3 again string and if there are any more columns please go ahead and do that I will click OK and now you would see there are three columns added here for integer I will add a static value maybe 4 and then the name again it would be static I can say able tutor click OK and then finally the country I would say maybe Australia I will click OK here and then join these two gray dots after this I have to convert this into a PDF for that I will search for PDF and you would see there is a method called export to PDF I will just drag and drop it here and I will have to give a file path where this PDF should be stored and the name of the PDF I will again go to this Windows Explorer and copy this and copy the file path here and, and I can give any name of the PDF file for example I can say demo dot PDF and then I will again join these two gray dots and finally join this to the end now our project is ready to be tested I'll click on run and as soon as I run this an excel file should automatically be opened and it has opened and created a PDF I'll just show you from here this was opened automatically and it added this row number 5 with the details which we added as static value and if you see here in this folder demo.pdf is also created I'll just try to open this and we could see all the four rows are here including the column names and this is our first very very easy project to convert excel into a pdf and you could see how rpa made it so simple to convert an excel file into pdf by using just out of the box existing methods now I think you should be good to go ahead and try your own use cases or maybe try this one using the excel methods we will keep exploring what are the other methods present in ServiceNow RPA please let me know in comments if you have any use cases in your mind I'll surely try to create a video on those if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button and Thanks for watching the video.